Charles Dietz's road locomotive or remorqueur à vapeur was one of the earliest and most successful of road steam locomotives entering service in 1834. Charles was born in Germany in 1801, the son of Jean Cretignan Dietz, a German immigrant living in Paris. Like his father, he was a musical instrument maker by trade, but had a mechanical turn of mind. Between 1832 and 1837, Jean Chrétien had built several steam road locomotives in Belgium, operating at regular service between Brussels and Anvers. The baton was then picked up by Charles, who in 1834 built his own road locomotive. It utilised a multi-tubular locomotive-style boiler designed to burn coke so as to prevent the emission of smoke. Maximum boiler pressure was 2 atmospheres or 30 psi. The boiler burned 180 kilos of coke per hour, and in working order, the engine weighed 7.5 metric tons. It was carried on four wheels in a tricycle arrangement. The front pair for steering were mounted close together, and there were two large driving wheels at the rear. The driving wheels were powered by a pair of cast bronze oscillating cylinders, which drove a crankshaft with a geared toothed wheel. The final drive was via a chain. Because the differential had yet to be invented, clutches on each wheel meant the drive could be disengaged to help the engine take corners. The driving wheels and those of the train of carriages behind were of an unusual construction. Between the wooden fellows and the segmental steel tyre was a layer of felt or cork coated in tar followed by a thick layer of rubber, presaging the tyres of Monsieur Michelin. A formal demonstration run was made on the 26th of September 1834 between Paris and the park at Saint-Germain-en-Laye. The locomotive hauled behind its two carriages, one first class and one second class, carrying 40 passengers. It departed from the Champs-Élysées at 10.15 and stopped taking water at Neuilly, Royal Malmaison and Mali le Roi, arriving at the foot of the steep hill up to Saint Germain en Laye at 12.15, the journey having taken two hours. After stoking up the fire, the brave little engine set off up the 5.5% incline up to Saint Germain en Laye and surmounted the climb and arrived at the park gates at 12.43. As a result of this successful public trial, regular services then began between Paris and Saint-Germain. In the following year, a regular service began between Paris and Versailles, which carried 30 passengers, and with a journey time of an hour and a quarter to cover the distance of 32 kilometres. Sadly, this promising start of road steam was over far too soon when a railway between Paris and Saint-Germain opened in 1837 and the line from Paris to Versailles in 1839. Unlike in Britain, which had its notorious red flag laws, and there was major opposition from the Turnpike trustees and indeed Parliament to road locomotives, there was no such opposition in France, where road steam was actively encouraged. I hope you have enjoyed this video on Charles Dietz and his remarkable remorqueur à vapeur. And if you have, please leave a comment below, as well as like, share and subscribe and click the notification bell. I'd also like to thank my generous supporters on Patreon for helping to make this video possible. And I look forward to seeing you all next time on Rail Story.